हेलो द गाइस वेलकम टू डी नोज वर्ल्ड वेलकम टू माय फर्स्ट राइड रिव्यू ऑफ द होंडा हॉर्नेट 2.0 पॉइंट ओ दिस इज़ वन ऑफ द मोस्ट रिक्वेस्टेड रिव्यूज ऑन द चैनल एंड फाइनली आई वुड से द वेट इज ओवर द गोल्ड एनोडाइज फोक्स लुक एब्सोल्युटली स्टनिंग एंड द बाइक इट इज अ बिग सरप्राइज लॉन्च फ्रॉम होंडा सो हाउ डज इट फील टू राइड एंड एवरी डिटेल दैट यू नीड टू नो अबाउट दिस मोटरसाइकिल इज वर्ड कमिंग अप इन दिस फर्स्ट राइड रिव्यू सो फर्स्ट आई गिव यू अ क्विक ओवर व्यू एंड देन विल गो हेड विद माई राइड रिएक्शन So this is the Honda Hornet 2.0, one of the most anticipated bikes of this year. So let's look at what this bike has on offer. Powering the bike is the same 184.4 cc single cylinder air cooled fuel injected engine derived from the 190R that's been selling in Indonesia and other parts of Asia. However, the power plant here in India is BS6 compliant and puts out a max power of 17.3 PS at 8500 rpm and a max torque of 16.1 newton meters. at 6000 rpm and we get a 5 speed gearbox now there are five things that i'd like to highlight about this bike that make it kind of stand out from the rest in the segment the first point obviously are the stunning gold anodized usd forks from showa suspension and though honda have not specified the diameter of these forks they do look pretty chunky and almost similar to 41 mm forks going by the looks at least which is outstanding for a bike in this price range no other bike in and around the price range offers you USD forks from Showa suspension now this translates into a superb and reassuring front end feel while tackling corners as well as offers a planted feel while shooting through the straights the second important point that has almost gone unnoticed is the weight the bike weighs a mere 142 kilos which makes it way lighter than its immediate rivals like RTR 200 and the 200 NS now this clearly gives the bike a weight advantage which is clearly felt when you ride the bike third point is the led lighting being offered all around including the headlamp the turn indicators and also the x shaped tail lamp the fourth point is about the tires please note that the hornet 2.0 gets extra max tires from maxis tires now the point to note here is that these tires are made using the world's strongest aramid fiber and dual compound technology which minimizes rolling resistance and offers better road grip while also offering longer tire life now talking about tire specs we get a 110 by 70 tire up front and a 140 by 70 tire at the back now the fifth point is the way the engine is tuned yes you can see my right reaction later on in this video but when you look at the power figures on the spec sheet we know that this bike is not about top speed but it is more about that initial pickup and good bottom end torque with a good mid range surge Another point to note is that we get pedal discs at both ends and single channel ABS which means ABS is operational only on the front wheel but the point to note here is that the front disc is a hubless unit which looks different from the rest and looks more aesthetically pleasing please note that the brakes are from Nissan and the braking performance is also good The speedo console is a full digital unit and offers all the basic info including a battery voltmeter other details include a tank capacity of 12 liters ground clearance is more than sufficient at 167 mm and the bike comes with Honda's patented HET or Honda Eco technology which reduces friction and optimizes combustion efficiency thereby offering a perfect blend of power and economy in terms of mileage there is no particular claim as such from Honda but i think going by the modest power figures we can expect anything between 38 to 40 kmpl in real world conditions if the bike is ridden sensibly talking about the price the bike has been launched at an introductory price of rupees 128595 here in hyderabad and to know the exact on road price please call the number mentioned in the description portion below so guys now that i've given you a quick overview about the motorcycle let's not waste any more time let's go ahead with my signature style acceleration test
125 was it pretty decent going by the numbers that we see on the spec sheet but more than that is the initial acceleration the pickup and the torque right from the word go and the way it sounds feels nice and peppy and sporty so lightweight nimble agile and that sporty nature is there from the bottom end to the mid-range and that is where most of the usage lies no one is going to test the top speed on a day-to-day -day basis they they want that instant surge that instant pickup at the twist of the throttle and that's exactly what honda have provided it's a a blend of uh, fun and economy and affordability so it's a intelligent package you can say uh, this uh, hornet 2.0 gets the 184 cc single cylinder air cooled uh, fuel injected uh, engine what seems obvious is that it is borrowed from the 190r that's available in other parts of asia already but uh, no one saw this coming everyone was waiting for the bs6 variant of the hornet but uh, really honda surprised the uh, you know market and the competition by launching this 2.0 version they're not claiming it to be a 200 cc because eventually it's just a 184 cc engine but 17.3 uh, uh, ps 16.1 newton meters of torque but uh, it's the way the power is delivered it's the way the torque is managed that's what makes this a fun proposition and look at the way it takes off and revs all the way as well to 9500 to and 10000 rpm that's that's where the magic is that's where the fun lies between uh the i mean the mid-range right from 60 kilometers per hour onwards to 95 or 100 kilometers per hour it's explosive and lightweight it you know it wants to be revved higher and pushed further but it's not a top end performance machine mind you you yeah, got to keep that in mind because we just get a five speed gearbox they have not given a six speed gearbox so again i have to underscore the fact that it's a blend of uh, power and fun and performance without having to you know compromise on economy and also affordability but at the same time they've packed a lot more premium features first of all they've given led lights all around you get led headlamp you get led turn indicators uh, and the led tail lamp you also get a nice chiseled sharp edgy bodywork which is kind of reminiscent of the uh, hornet uh, franchise but again the handlebar is perfectly positioned the riding ergonomics are so well sorted out that uh, you can ride this all day without feeling fatigued uh, that's one thing uh, the rider's triangle is well established uh, you can use it uh, for day-to-day -day commutes you can enjoy your weekend rides because the power and torque are well managed uh, through the mid-range so what could be the cruising speed of this uh, it's more or less around uh, 85 to 90 kilometers per hour i would say see it uh, kind of cruises uh, effortlessly at 95 96 kilometers per hour and the bike is brand new so after first or second service i'm sure it can cruise at 100 uh, kilometers per hour or 105 kilometers per hour which is more than sufficient for weekend rides and the switch gear is all well sorted out uh, you do get a engine kill switch double underscore that and uh, you get a hazard light switch now how interesting is that so if you want to tour on this bike they've given a much needed uh, add-on here hazard lights to enhance your visibility in uh, you know uh, rainy or foggy conditions and you get a high beam flasher and uh, everything else is spot on you get dual throttle cables so this ensures that the acceleration the in-gear acceleration is much better the clutch feel is uh, nice and light and effortless and the clutch pull is also not too far and uh, the clutch travel i mean and then the gearbox is also nice and smooth the gear ratios are not too short they are all well matched says that you have good pull in each and every gear so that's one thing i wanted to highlight the seats are again it's not too soft nor is it too hard but you might feel it slightly on the harder side initially but uh, trust me overly soft seats tend to give you a butt ache so i believe this is a decent one you get ample room for the rider and decent amount of room for the pillion 
another one is the usd folks that is a main usp that sets this uh, bike apart in this price range no one offers usd folks be it rtr 200 or pulsar 200 ns they don't offer usd folks these are gold anodized usd folks and they look super premium now the usd folks again offer a good front end feel for the kind of sporty they offer a really good front end feel for the kind of sporty acceleration that this bike has on offer and uh yes the acceleration is nice and smooth and uh, there's no vibrations whatsoever even while clocking the top speed that is a hallmark trait of all honda motorcycles they are synonymous with refinement so that doesn't change with the hornet 2.0 so let's quickly do a braking test here taking it up to 60 kilometers per hour and slam on the brakes and uh, kind of grabbed a handful of front brake and it didn't budge an inch it kind of really uh, came to a standstill in a very confident and uh, you know controlled manner so the brakes are good but uh, yes uh, maybe they could have uh, increased the price marginally and offered dual channel abs i'm just saying but uh, that's just wishful thinking but at this price point it's pretty decent more than what you can ask for and the hubless disc looks absolutely beautiful you get petal discs which offers better heat dissipation just for the records 276 mm petal disc up front and a 220 mm petal disc at the back apart from that everything else seems bang on the money so that's pretty much it let me just stop by here and quickly give you guys the exhaust note This wraps up my review of the Honda Hornet 2.0. I just hope you found this video useful. If you have, please do subscribe to the channel and stay tuned for all the action right here at Dino's Vault. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Until then, take care, God bless and ride safe.